what's up guys welcome back to SL Prime today I have a very special video for you guys here I have the Galaxy S5 Verizon with a locked bootloader running stock Android 10 so yeah as you can see the fingerprint works although not as good as the modern day phones but here it is completely stock Android in every single possible way you got the phone app you got messages you got the Play Store even the Google camera although this is not the official Google G cam this is just the Google camera although the camera isn't that terrible it actually has a 16 megapixel sensor and actually can shoot 4k 30 FPS which is a pretty good feature for a phone that was made in 2014 for comparison the S5 is actually launched against the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 has been discontinued for like, I don't know, a few years now. While the Samsung Galaxy S5 was actually stuck on Android Android 6 Marshmallow. So the iPhone 6 was stuck around iOS 12, I believe. And the Samsung Galaxy S5, on the other hand, was stuck on Android 6. So that was pretty terrible. But thanks to the lineage, lineage OED, Thanks to the Lineage OS community, we actually can run stock Android 10 on a Galaxy S5. So that's four OS versions ahead of its time, and everything still works flawlessly. Like, I'm freaking like so happy that the community actually cares about their devices and actually can run pretty much any Android version as long as it doesn't need too much RAM because 2 gigs of RAM in 2020 is really cutting it very close but everything seems to work just fine even watching videos is legitimately a good experience like this is Samsung displays have AMOLED technology okay let me skip that annoying ad but yeah they have AMOLED technology and it is at full HD but <laughs> the speaker is pretty terrible though so please use that which you can use headphones because it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in terms of gaming um, <laughs> Don't expect to run the latest titles such as PUBG and Fortnite, but running old retro games or just 2D based games, you should absolutely have no problems at all. If you're actually wanting to get one of these, they're actually pretty inexpensive. So I got this S5 for $35 locally. Although if you want an easier experience custom ROMing, please pick a version that has an unlocked bootloader. So if you don't want to put in extra work, make sure to buy, make sure to buy a Galaxy S5 that has an unlocked bootloader. So don't buy Verizon or AT&T because I know for sure those versions have a locked bootloader. Also make sure to comment down below if you guys want to see a camera test against the Google Pixel 3 on the Samsung Galaxy S5 in 2020. I can also test video, night photography, etc. just to see how far this phone has come and see if it's actually still usable in 2020. Because of course, the one major reason I picked the S5 out of every other Samsung is because it has a removable battery. So you can actually just pop off the back cover like this. Oops, I just turned off the phone. So make sure you guys are careful. And there you go. Got the camera, SD card expansion. So you can probably pop in a 64 gig SD card, no problem. 
and yeah you can literally have like 10 batteries laying around and your phone will literally never run out of battery just pop in a new one if you need it and then charge it when you're not using the battery so yeah there the battery is actually rated at 200 or 2880 milliamp hours i believe so it's actually a pretty big battery for its time considering the pixel 4 xl actually has a tiny battery that's just crazy i cannot believe the pixel battery is that bad and yeah as you can see here it has a custom bootloader and running twrp recovery even though it's a verizon bootlocked phone there's actually a workaround so if you guys are looking for tutorials i will definitely be open to making them so make sure you guys comment down below and and i'll be making sure to put that on my videos list and making it as soon as possible so yeah guys that's about it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later peace out